Hello everyone, this is Rupesh Kumar Dutt and this is a part of lecture series Digital Logic. In this uh, video we will learn something about complements, then we will also go on to learn about octal arithmetic, then hetharismal arithmetic and uh, we will also see what is sign numbers, floating numbers and then in the end we, have, uh, we will learn what are the different binary codes. So first see what is complements. So in digital logic uh, complements are basically of two types uh, redis complement and diminished redis complement. So if uh, we have a base R system then R minus 1 complement is known as diminished redis complement. So given a number n in base R having n digits if we have n digits uh, number and the base uh, of the number system is R and the total number is no, n, known as n then n minus 1's complement of n is defined as R to the n minus 1 and whole minus the number n. So we learned what is this by just taking example of a 6 digit decimal number. Why we are taking decimal number because the decimal numbers are the most familiar number system to us. So if you find, uh, if you want to find the nines complement, because in decimal numbers the radix uh, of the system is the base of the system is r and that is ten. So r minus one complement uh, will be nines complement. Ten minus one is nine. So this is r to the n minus one minus n. That is r to the n is 10 to, to the 6 because the number of digits we have here 6. So this is 10 power 6 minus 1 and that becomes 6 times 9. So if we have to find the 9th complement of this number that is 5, 4, 6, 7, double 0 then we have to subtract this number from this uh, 10 power 6 minus 1 that will become 6 times 9 minus this. That means this will become this number. And uh, just to get a bit of binary numbers, so if we have an example of 7 digit binary, binary numbers, then we have to find 2 to the power 7 minus 1, and that will become 7 times 1. So if the uh, problem is to find the once complement of this, because why we are saying once complement? Because the base of the binary systems are 2 and 2 minus 1 is 1. So this is 1's complement of this number. So we have to find first 2 to the power 7 minus 1 and then we will get 7 ones and then we have to subtract this number from this number. So we will get this number. So there are few observations from this uh, Redis complement number system that uh, when subtraction from r to the n minus 1 will never require a borrow. That means if you are finding a 1's complement or 9's complement, that means we will not need any borrow. We will not require any borrow. One more thing is that a diminished radix complement, that is r minus 1's complement, can be computed digit by digit. And that we will learn in the next slide. So for binary, it is 1 minus 0 means it is 1. And 1 minus 1 means it is 0. So here are some examples of a binary number system. In binary number system, if you find, we have to find the R minus 1's complement or diminished radius complement, we will call it 1's complement. Now in this uh, system, all zeros will become 1 and all 1's will become 0. We just have to invert all the numbers in the binary number system. So if the example is that we have to find 1, 0, 1, 1, 4 times 0, this is the binary number system and we have to find the diminished radix component, then we have to just invert all the numbers in the sequence. So we will get this as the once complement of this number system. So <coughs> if we have to add a number then its uh, once complement will be just the invert of number number system and if we add these numbers then we will get 
all the ones and that is very obvious also because if we add a number with its inverted form then we will get one now what is the radius complement radius complement uh, uh, number system of any n digit number n in base r is defined as r to the n minus n for n is not equal to 0 if number is not 0 and as 0 for n is 0 so comparing with r minus 1's complement we note that the rs complement is obtained by adding 1 to the r minus 1's complement since we can get here that r to the n minus n is r to the n minus 1 minus n plus 1 so we are just adding to the r minus 1's complement to find the rs complement and that will be obvious from the following example again we will take the example of a decimal number system uh, we have to find the tenth complement of this number 0 1 2 3 9 8 so to find a tenth complement we just have to find the ninth complement of this number first and we have to add 1 to the ninth complement of this number and finding ninth complement is very easy we have to just subtract each digit from 9 so 9 minus 8 is 1 and plus 1 is 2 so we have to add 1 only to the rightmost digit so this is 2 and then we have to subtract each digit from 9 so 9 minus 9 is 0 3, 9 minus 3 is 6 like that likewise uh, from uh, to find our tenth complement of this number also we have to find the first to find the ninth complement and then add 1 so 0 0 is always 0 0 we have to find the first digit from the rightmost side this is 7 so 9 minus 7 is 2 plus 1 is 3 after that all the digits will be subtracted from 9 so 9 minus 6 is 3 9 minus 4 is 5 like that and if the number system is uh, binary number system then we have to just invert all the bits from the uh, number and add one and this example will be uh, clear more clear from the next slide so uh, here is the example that we have to take a once complement of this number so what we have to do we have to take a once complement of this number and then we have to add one to get this so there is one or uh, shortcut for this that toggle all the bits to the left of the first one from the right so if this is the number system then we have to just find the first one from the right and then toggle all the bits after that so this is a complete answer so from the next video we will learn how to take advantage of two's complement or uh, diminished radius complement and radius complement to subtract and add uh, number of ones or zeros so thank you for watching.